Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a review on this awesome figure from NECA. It's the Ultimate Sam from Trick or Treat. And this was an amazing gift from Irene and Mark back around October time. And I've only just got to re-watching the movie now. I didn't own the film, so I needed to get it, watch the film, do a bit of research before I do the review here for you. But Irene and Mark, thank you so much for this awesome gift. Came through once again with an awesome surprise. This was back around my birthday, so thank you guys. And I hope you do enjoy the video. I hope the rest of you guys out there enjoy the review too. If you do, drop a like on it, make sure you subscribe. Now, if you haven't seen the film, you should definitely check it out. Sam here goes around on October 31st, keeping everyone in check, making sure that the Halloween spirit is kept alive. And if you're not putting in the effort, that's your ass. He would be busy where I live, because there's literally us here, and maybe two or three other houses I've seen in like a three mile radius that even bother putting jack-o'-lanterns out on Halloween. So he'd be busy around my parts. But a great film, folks, definitely worth your time not a very long movie it's quite short and to the point but it's got all these kind of different stories that all link up together in a very satisfying way and with the character here sam at the center of it all but NECA have also made a retro cloth version of sam which is a slightly bigger scale but this is the ultimate version which comes with just a whole bunch a whole heap of extra goodies i mean look at that and the artwork inside the, just the presentation of the packaging with that lovely kind of shiny metallic look that the box has very 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 cool box definitely want to keep this in good condition but this is really cool just different pictures of sam the different accessories i mean very collector friendly you could display it like this absolutely fine or once you've played with him put him back in keep him like that it's up to you there's all the goodness look at that yeah that's cool that is, that is beautiful look at that that's going to be great for photography yeah that is sick that is really cool growing a beard this is sack nice does this jaw articulate it does oh. it looks like pumpkin head when he's in this more kind of fetal kind of baby and he's growing into the large pumpkin head in the original movie is that articulated as well? Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got two heads. This one's got some battle damage and an articulated jaw. That's cool. Focus, damn it. Don't turn them loose. Go ahead. Guys, Sam action. Focus, there you go. Sam in the house. Thank you, Irene and Mark. This is awesome. You guys are awesome. There we go. All right. Now I'll just start by showing you how cool Sam looks in front of this background that they provide for you inside the packaging. Uh, you can zoom in and get rid of the sides that are kind of showing here. Get yourself a real, you know, I mean, you gotta light it right. I'd suggest, you know, bringing in some light from above. I'm shooting with the natural light coming in behind me now, so it's reflecting off the card. But you can get it looking way better than that. It's just really, really nice. Some great opportunities for photography with this guy. Really, really, really cool. Lots of fun. Keep providing those backdrops, Necker. Very, very nice touch. Very considerate. Because you know, we like to have fun with the figures. We take photos of the figures with other figures too. Sometimes pretty. Sometimes Myers. Sometimes Chucky. Where's my buddy Chucky? He's about the right size. Let me go get some Chucky action. Me and Chucky gonna tear it up tonight. Yeah. And here he is with a sack. It's really cool. Got a sack out. Yeah. I'll just give you a few more shots with this background because I really do like it, folks. It works perfectly. It was a great choice for this figure, obviously from the movie. Just an excellent choice for a background. 
really impressed with this figure so far. I knew it would be, I've seen some videos. It's a great character, very unique looking. Alright, one last little shot before I put this backdrop away. That is seriously cool. I've taken a lot of pictures, so. Having a lot of fun, and I've only just got him out of the packaging. He's providing me with lots of entertainment during this lockdown period. Part 2, the sequel. Here he is on the desk, just showing you all the accessories surrounding him here, so he comes with a lot of stuff. You can have a multitude of different looks with this guy. Really good possibility so far as well. It's a little bit tricky to get him to hold on to that sack there, but it's doable. Got it done. You get some really good movement in the neck as well. The head can look up and down, side to side and turn all the way around. Articulated jaw allows for all kinds of different possibilities. So really good movement with him. Such a cool looking little piece, man. And here's that other head sculpt. With a little bit of Sam's jaw showing. This is a pretty cool one. Well, I would probably, it's quite tricky. I'm torn between that one down there and this head. I really like this one again. Reminds me of pumpkin head. It's more kind of infant stage, but it's quite a tricky one. You've got a lot of options here, folks. All of them look amazing. Here's a little height comparison for you with Pennywise from It Chapter 2, and Sam in the middle, and the Ultimate Chucky on the other side. Now, they're all by NECA, they're all from the Ultimate range of figures, and all three are absolutely excellent. But there's your height comparison. Not looking too bad. And just switched out this head sculpt here for the one with the battle damage, with the pumpkin goo oozing out of his temple there. And he's waving hello, unfazed by the loss of integrity to his bonds. Now I want to display him holding on to his sack, but I also want him to be holding on to his wowie pop here, but I can't do that because the other hand you get is another right hand. Um, I can't have him holding both at the same time, so that sucks. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Now, he doesn't look awfully natural at the moment, but you can get him to sit down like this. So you could finesse that a little bit. And get him to lean forward a little bit more. There you go. He's still kind of his feet are lifting up. See, that's the thing, I want to get the weight to come forward here. See if I can get him to look a little bit more natural. Not yet, but it is doable. I'm sure there's a way to get that done. Chucky was able to do it a little bit easier because I think he had a bit more room here where the legs join onto the body. But yeah, you can get him to sit down or uh, a little bit of martial arts. Now you can make it work holding on to the lollipop and the sack here. I mean, that hand isn't really meant to hold on to that, but it certainly looks like it's doing it. You know, if you position it right. So there you go. That's the kind of look I'm going to go with. And I'll keep the review short and sweet, folks. It's a beautiful piece. And again, thank you to Irene and Mark for such an amazing gift. Once again, swooping in with their incredible generosity and support on the channel. Wouldn't be the same channel without them at this rate. Pumpkinhead, Vampirella, Sam here. Forget about it. Those guys are absolutely amazing. I hope you guys are keeping safe and well out there. And I give this figure a 10 out of 10. No reason not to whole bunch of different head sculpts, beautiful packaging, very correct, uh, collective friendly, great articulation, great sculpt, great paintwork, great source material. Another absolutely fantastic ultimate figure here from NECA. They always do such a fantastic job. But that is it folks. Nice to get something a bit kind of spooky. Get some October vibes, even though we're in the middle of January right now. But October is my favorite month of the year. Halloween's my favorite day of the year. So I'd like to, uh, any excuse to get in that kind of vibe is fine with me. But I hope you're all keeping safe and well out there, folks. I hope you're enjoying the content on the channel. And I'll be back with you soon with more good stuff. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.